Ethiopian energy abbreviated as E technology abbreviated as EITX found under Baharda University. Close to 3,000 students are attending the training in Ethiopian Institute of Textile and Fashion Technology. What impressed you to join this department? To be a fashion student before, uh, just before, you know, when I was grade 10. But after I joined to this university, uh, first I was uh, choosing an engineering department, and it was not my hobby. Mm, but after I joined, I joined to this university, this fashion uh, design department is very special, and uh, it's uh, only. Be, um, I mean. Uh, after uh, it needs very small students in, in number by that uh, and uh, it's uh, unique it's the only institute in Ethiopia even if in uh, East Africa I mean therefore it impresses me and I join to to be a fashion design student. EI Text is Ethiopian pioneer institute in textile technology it was established in 1963 as a textile technology department under Bardar Polytechnic College. Our institute, Ethiopian Institute of Textile and Fashion Technology, has been established since 1963 in European calendar. It was started by good relationship between uh, Imperial Haile Selassie and uh, Russian government. I think you know uh, the place Polytechnic Institute where it has been planned to train technicians at that time in different uh, field of specialization like textile technology. So we have been started uh, as textile technology department and then when the government gave emphasis to textile and clothing sectors, it has been upgraded to uh, in year 2009 to a list of technology. So Ethiopian Institute of Textile and Fashion Technology is one of the ten Institute of Technologies which has been given emphasis by government to train skilled manpower for industries. And uh, as EITX, Ethiopian Institute of Textile uh, and Fashion Technology, it's a pioneer institute in Ethiopia for training textile, garment, fashion and laser engineering programs for decade of years almost. The premier institute of textile is providing a training from bachelor science to PhD level. There are seven departments in undergraduate academy programs and the nine in graduate academy programs. What are basic The teaching learning process is going well. Teaching learning process is going well. Uh, we mainly concern on uh, an illustration as a fashion designers. Uh, our work is to illustrate, to make patterns. Focus on illustrating. Focus on illustrating. Focus on illustrating, sketching, and then developing patterns. So we have uh, the practical and the theoretical part. The students in EITX have been attending their class in this They are now to attend easily. They are now in to attend easily. They are now a new campus exclusively built for them. The situation shows the concern of Barda University in producing a skilled manpower in textile engineering. You are now uh, inside new campus on a new building. Did you feel any comfortable things when you enter this new campus? It's 
beautiful. I mean, even the, have you seen the design of the building? Yes. It's made of delf, right? Yeah. European traditional delf. Yeah, and that's beautiful. I mean, it express our culture. That's a great thing. And the advantage of our uh, campus being there is uh, uh, it's more closer to our uh, lab, uh, lab session, lab classes. Before, when we were in, in Peda, we will go to Poli or Salam Gibi, which is the, the place we are in now, right? There was transportation, waste of time, it reduces our time. It saves our time because the lab is there, the lecture is there, and it's great, it's nice. This campus is very comfortable because of, uh, you know, before we go different campus, like a Poli. Registration is there. Registration is there. Every and every every um every need every every. Every need is what we want. Therefore, it's very good. I like the new campus. Before, we were in a poly campus, you know, poly campus, yeah. where we start our program. But now, uh, the demand for textile, garment, fashion related uh, professionals is very high in the country. So, it's very difficult to uh, address this demand with a limited number of resources. So now what we have been working for the past six years is that we are capacitating the infrastructure, the number of staffs and the staff profiles as well. This campus, the new campus, is one of uh, the investment to address uh, the uh, demand, uh, the high number of demand of textile and garment professions in the country. So when we finish all buildings, the capacity of the institute will become about 7,000 students. So uh, that's one. And the other thing, we are also increasing the number of uh, laboratories and workshops for these different programs that we are training. So you might have seen some of the buildings here. Yes. There are state of art, I could say. Now, to be honest, we are aspiring, our institute is aspiring to become one of the best three our university is demanding to be one of the best 10 in 2025. That means some of our academic units becomes number one, the other number two, number three likewise, and in some programs we can special. I could say we are in a good status, to be honest, in Africa. The training is mainly focused on hand to machine. Laboratory classes are equipped with textile technologies. How the training is practical and easy to understand. Well. The lecture, we have the lecture course and the practical. And we have like uh, instructors who's uh, from another country, Indians or uh, they uh, maybe from here, they teach us well. So we know more about the course. And gradually we like the course and we become more professionals. Our institute has been working more of practical knowledge as comparing to theory. So we want our students to understand the reality, not theory, not at, like a concept, but bringing the concept into output, a work. So what we do is that we give them theory, thoughts, and as well they come here to love, uh, practice what they've learned, so it's more of practical knowledge. As you know, that fashion industry uh, is about practical skill. So we want our students to practice, know, enhance their abilities in the industry. Because uh, it's, it's not something that you will have it by concept. It's about practicing it, giving it to real life work. So they practice you know, stitching types, they learn different construction types, they learn different types of pattern makings, they learn different types of draping. They also learn more modernized body scanning machines. It's about international fashion design. It's not, the aspect is not bounded or limited into stitching, designing. It's about having forecasting trends. It's international way. So our institute gives it through Broadway. It's about making the world understand. So as a designer, 
the institute gives fashion designers to become a professional, professional designers, which can have acceptance throughout the world. So it's not about teaching, it's about practice, and we make them to be as perfect as they can be. What makes the training style, do you think, different from other disciplines or uh, other departments in engineering? Uh, as an uh, EI tech student, we mainly concern on creativity, creating something new. And that makes us more inspired to learn, to go to the class. So it's uh, different from others. Like we have uh, the paperwork, the constructions. Uh, the way of teaching from other disciplines is uh, mostly uh, our teaching and learning process is mostly oriented to practical oriented and it is material and machine intensive. So the difference I, I can say uh, every continuous assessment is controlled by the practical activities. So uh, it's not only demonstration, but also we every student have to be compute for each teaching and learning content as by practical. That means uh, they produce a visible product for each class conduct. For each class. That means we need machines for each person. We need fabrics like that means raw materials for each person or student. So the way uh, to handle our training is like hand to machine and it's material intensive and most of the time it is uh, practical oriented. Uh, say for example, some courses are 100% practical. Actually in us uh, educational institute, this learning, learning teaching process will handle by the theoretical buildings and also the practical activities. So, especially in our stream, or in our uh, uh, training way, uh, we are more focusing on the, the practicals. So this is different from others. It has been so said, okay. it is important to check the competence of each and every student before graduated, they have to compute. That is, the system will uh, force them to compute at the process. <laughs> Ethiopia is uh, a home of mosaic culture with different or variety of uh, dressing style. So you come from different regional states in the country. So can it helps you to create uh, the design? It, it, it has been to create many great designs because it have more than 80 cultures. Sure, sure. So it, it helps us, the, this culture help us to know and create different clothing clothes. If you have different culture, you're gonna produce many different products according to the, each different cultures, right? So it gives us a choice, I mean, to choose whether we are going to make a product of Amara or Tigre or Oromo or any culture you want. So it helps us to create something new have a, and choose the culture, whatever culture we want. And uh, even I start to know many different cultures that I, I didn't know earlier. Uh, according to our course, there's a course history, history, uh, history, Ethiopian history, Ethiopian closing history. And in that course, I, 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 I learned many different cultures of Ethiopia, how they clothes, how they wear footwear, their footwear, and everything about them. That helps you, that inspires you to produce something new. I mean, you, you, you can create something new according to your designs, but the garment can be cultural clothes still. So that was... This different culture in Ethiopia helps us to inspire, you know? Just, uh, we inspired from different clothes found in Ethiopia and we can modify that to a new style. Because variety is, you know, helps us for uh, designers to be creative, to use that. Even um, when we go to Southern, Southern Nation, the colors are very vibrant, you know? And when we go to Southern Northern, uh, the colors are white. 
we can combine that and create a new design. We have to go to the market. We have to enter the market. So we must do something new. We must change. Fashion is change by itself. We need to have something new, with varieties of clothes. Uh, for example, I might not wear Havasha Kamis uh, for a casual day. Only for, uh, I might wear it for an occasional. Uh, so, by making it simply, f by ma by simplifying the Havasha lips, I might wear it every day. Uh, for work or to go to an occasion or something else. In that case, we are promoting our culture. It is rich in culture, so we have many clothes. Like you can all see this. So we might combine it, and we might get something new. That's fashion. That's what new things mean. Uh, or sometimes people don't want to wear this long dress. They might want it in trouser, and we might scratch the trouser. We might add something on it, like tell or something else. They come from different regions. It means they have different attitude, different ethnic uh, cultural dressing. And uh, the purpose of this is that they share, they share different uh, concepts of dressing. So it's very uh, important as well. They help the students to know more about different con uh, regions, uh, how they dress, how they eat. Because fashion is not about dressing. It's about uh, understanding the culture, the folk itself. So it's very important that we, uh, the students have different, they come from different regions and it's supportive for our learning and teaching process. When they learn fashion history, the students are giving all the regions, all the regions of Ethiopia to do research on them with peer groups. So what they do is they gather information, the culture, how, uh, the, the, the concept of the folk, how they dress, how they eat, their tradition, their religion, why are they dressing that proper clothing or traditional clothes. And they research on that, gather information from uh, primary or secondary, they go to the place and research, or they in collect in from the internet. So all they do is they collect and gather information and do a concept. So in design, there are boards that we call boards, which are inspiration board, mood board, concept board, illustration board, design board, flat skates, and product board. So they, all they do is, first they have to come up with inspiration board. So what has inspired them to do this design? So they will have an inspiration board so that they have the feeling or the process of getting the right output. How the training by itself has given due emphasis on this indigenous cultural clothes. In the course is still called the Ethiopian history of fashion. It helps us to know more about the cultures of Ethiopia. <coughs> and that's not, it's not just that. Our teacher, um, it, he was uh, teacher Stephanos. His name was, his name was Stephanos. He was an amazing teacher. He gave us an assignment, a group assignment. Uh, to, uh, there was like 10, 10 points, 10 uh, culture, Amharic, uh, Oromo, Tigray, and each group should have like one title out, out of 10. And we search everything about them, the language, the hairstyle, the clothing, the, the footing wear. And he helped us to know everything about culture, at least 10 cultures. And if, if I inspire from any of that culture, who knows, maybe tomorrow I will, improve, I will have a garment house based on that, you see? And it inspires us to know more about our cultures, each and every one of them. And after that, we start searching for more, to know more, because there's more to know from Ethiopian cultural clothes. I don't think this idea. Uh, we have done a lot of research on history of fashion, Ethiopian fashion. Uh, there are a lot of amazing things, like the Western Yang, also uh, take something from us, the Karmak uh, haircut. Okay. Now, nowadays it's known for its Shamak haircut, but long ago children used to cut their hair like sure. that, and it's called Abyssinian hair. The Balaton style or the other? Yeah, the Balaton style. Mm -hmm. It was something to new. 
I never know that before. So it's good to know our culture. Uh, that in the fashion, for one fashion designer, have to know about its culture. I have to know every culture, like why they cut their hair, uh, why they close something like that. It requires studying the folklore yes, by itself. It requires why the Oromo people uh, or the Gambela people wear something laser. Research findings show that more than 3 million hectares of land in Ethiopia is conducive for cotton production, and recently the government has given due emphasis towards the expansion of textile industries. It is believed that these industries should be run by skilled manpower. EITEX is working in line with the plan of Ethiopian government to bring a speedy expansion of textile industries run by native professionals and indigenous knowledge. Our uh, potential is very high. We can do it if you work hard, but some challenges are, yeah, uh, the manpower and the raw material supply chain management is very difficult and very challenging you now. That's why we are working in an in international conference every year uh, in order to solve all these challenges. International conference from different countries of the nations, uh, from different professionals. There are so many people that has been presented on that area in order to solve all these challenges and uh, treats. But it is very simple to work hard uh, with other countries because this university, this institution is an international institution. There are so many professionals to join here and to take experience uh, here and there with other countries. So there are good opportunities for our nation. After we became an institute of technology, now we have a number of programs. Now in teaching learning, we have seven undergraduate program, uh, seven master's program, and also PhD program. In the undergraduate program, we have textile engineering, garment engineering, laser engineering, fashion design, textile and apparel merchandising, uh, and uh, textile technology education, and garment technology education. In a master's program, we have textile chemistry, textile manufacturing, fashion technology, fashion design, laser product uh, design engineering and um, also textile technology education and garment technology education in a PhD program with sandwich program with different universities in Europe and USA. We are also textile technology and fashion technology specialization. So the mindset before were textile simply relate to the clothing. Uh, I, I can call it that most of people know that textile mean only uh, in Amharic charka charka. But that is one part of textile engineering. But if you take a uh, textile engineering program, it can be applicable in automobiles, it can be applicable in aircrafts, it can be applicable in space science. So there are uh, a number of, of uh, yes. So this exposure, there are only few professionals in Ethiopia who can explain about this discipline. How do you have an exposure to industries uh, through maybe through internship and so that you can see um, the apparel production or the textile engineering in the industry? In the apparel was uh, in Aikadis, Addis Ababa. That's where I was. I was. I were for the first time in the uh, industry. It was so big, and they produce garments. All they do is like export all the time and they, they are not even selling to the local market and when we ask why they said they can't afford it because it's too expensive but when i was in there i understand how they make samples from the sample room how they make samples so carefully and when the, when we're in the pattern making room how they make patterns how they rearrange from small to large large to extra large and I see like the whole operation from cutting room, how they cut the, pro, the, the fabrics. So they have like different motions, so like modernized, which is good. And the merchandising side, yeah, we saw the merchandiser who come, who come, who connect the producer with the buyers. It's just like a broker? Yeah, he was, he was like in the middle of yeah. that. And we, we have seen that. So uh, I pretty much seen the whole thing from the company how they produce garment and how they sell garment 
and how and they, uh, they actually produce even the fabric there from cotton to fabric and they produce garment and finally it's a garment one one finished garment from the raw material to the finished product so i very much see everything how fabrics made, how they produce garments, how they save the garment. So I have a great experience there. Here in the university, there is uh, some uh, machines are not available here. But the, the company had all the, the, the machines we need. So that's important for us, you know? By that, and um, more, the more theoretical part can be convert into practical thing. Here, there is a long, a, a long way, you know, to do pattern and uh, to construct even. And it's very, it's very, you know. It takes time and the effort. Yeah, it takes time. Take for example, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in this first semester, we have given a holistic examination for uh, fashion design students and textile engineering students. And they have gone to different organizations for the case or for the sake of internship experience that has been taking place in the industries and they have the theoretical background here in the university and the practical background will be also experienced or practicing in uh, organizing in, in industries for a semester for more than four months and after that they develop projects they develop uh, problem solving projects and they will come back to this university and they will present their project and it will be evaluated and it, uh, uh, it will also uh, evaluated by different juries, professionals, instructors. And it has been very great achievement in, the, in, our, in our cases, especially. So our linkage has worked in every work of life, in every organization of a nations, in every organization of a country, all over the country. Currently, uh, uh, we have uh, four months uh, industry uh, ex uh, internships for our students. So it's important to uh, know the industry environment. Uh, students simply understand what is uh, doing in the industry, what are the industry uh, challenges, and what they simply uh, incorporate their industry behaviors, like the logistic processes, like the operation processes. Uh, despite to the le teaching learning process, maybe something is different from the industry. So uh, this is for like preparation for further life of work. Now we have about 3,000 students in a regular program. So before I could say it's only few, not more than 100 students in one department. But now if you see uh, great attention is given to textile and clothing and there are a number of uh, foreign investment is there, Turkish, China, India and other companies and also these industry parks. So now the job opportunity of this graduates is very high. Due to this reason, a number of students is choosing this program. So we are training demand driven programs. So now the situation is changed because of the growth of the sector, I could say and the job opportunity created. The majority of freshman students, when they choose a program, they will ask you only one question. Can I get a job after graduation? Sure. So this was uh, a problem, but now this has changed. But now what we are working is that to train our students fit for purpose, for industries, giving more emphasis to practical teaching. And we are also, in addition to that, all our curriculum is as per European credit transfer system. We are benchmarking Europe and we are addressing also our industry problems. So that you can meet the international standards? Yes, the yes, standards. yes. Because I can give you some of the examples. Uh, now our graduates is working in different companies like Turkey, China and the and other. So the, the feedback what we get from them is that they are good in practical, they are good in theory and they are fit for a purpose. After graduation, you are expected to produce products which can penetrate the market and are usable by local peoples. But while using Western products, how do you think it's possible to penetrate the market and uh, to use uh, your products? We have to understand the customer side from the customer side. 
in white, I mean white people wear the western clothes. We have to know why, because they wear it most of the time because it's creative, it's new. People, all of us, all of us need something new, right? So people wear the western clothes because it's new, it's creative, and it's easy to wear. And our cultural clothes are more like difficult because they, they may be long dresses, which is not comfortable for workplace. So this is the problem. If we know the, the problem, then we'll solve it. We'll find a way, a way for, for it. And as a designer, I think to make our cultural clothes more, uh, more popular, even usable for everyday wear, we have to make it like simplify. We have to simplify it. We have to create something new. I and mean, we, we may be inspired from uh, Western uh, designs, but we don't have to wear the Western clothes all the time. I and mean, we have to promote our culture. Who's going to promote our culture if we didn't? So I think we should do first understand the customer why they didn't uh, buy the cultural clothes. Then instead they buy the Western clothes, right? First we have to know why. And then we have to find a solution for that's our job, I think. And as a designer, I think if if I want to produce something new for the customers, I have to I have to produce something simple, simple simple cultural clothes, so people can wear these cultural clothes every time, and not just only for holidays or for something special occasions, but for casual clothes, for every for everyday wear clothes. So, in order to do that, all I gotta do is to make our our cultural clothes simple. We may produce something from metal. It's it's light, right? The public is sure. light. So we have to make like we we can produce something like shirt, right? For office wear. So make it like simplified. If we simplify it, people are gonna wear it because it's our culture. I mean, why why would they want to bear to wear um, Western clothes if they have? The same uh, simple clothes of sure. their own. Right? Sure. So I think um, to make it something modern and simplified better. We scholars define creativity means making it in simplicity. Yeah, making it simple city. I mean, we have we can inspire from westerns. Why they why their economy is so high because they know the customer. Hmm? They understand the customer, right? They are economy, their economy is so high because they understand the customers, they produce what the customers want. And if we did that, including our cultural fabric, people going to wear it because it's our identity, right? Sure. So uh, I think making it simplified and like adding design, some simple designs, so people can wear it every day. I think that's the way. For me, uh, I don't I tend to hate globalization. Sure. Because, uh, you know, people need new things, new creations, you know. Uh, but as, uh, as a designer, I advise, um, especially textile engineering students, maybe textile engineers, you know. We can inspire from Western, you know, the new the new creation, we can inspire from that. But what's the problem here is the way of changing this cultural clothes to a, a modern way, you know. Uh, even even uh, we can uh, take the print uh, like Axum, La Libella, and the Gondor. The printers are only putting uh, on the you know just on the, fa the on the garment. Why not the, the the textile engineers do that print by the, that that yarn? You know. Yes. Because um, so that we can show our identity. Yeah, we can our show closing. our identity, and the way of uh, using you know something um, new is you know even if uh, uh, just taking a print, the print should be you know in a different manner, not a plain way in a plain way, because uh, that just um, can. Um, Attract the attract public? Others, even the Western. For me, as a designer, I just uh, I wanted to advise the sticky style students. I'm going to answer this question from the customer side. Uh, why we don't wear our clothes? This is the question. Why we don't wear our, our clothes is that because we didn't get quality fabric. We didn't get quality product. Uh, when 
if someone gives me something, it's for me to panic. I'm, go I'm not going to wear it. This is what is in people's mind. So we have to work on, firstly, we have to work on the people's mind. Why don't they buy it? Why don't they buy our product? Uh, the answer will be, we don't have varieties of clothes. We might uh, make some t-shirt uh, or something, skirts, no, some, no new thing. And the Westerns uh, create something new. They make the jeans, they make the skirt, the jeans, they put something on it, they print, uh, they have a very good quality, they print the shirt, they do many things. But when we came here, we do nothing. That's why people don't want to wear our clothes. They, they don't want to wear it and go to work or something, go to an occasion, event. Uh, so we just have to work on that. I think we must concern on what people need. What we have to see uh, from uh, customer's point of view. Yeah, what do they, what do our, what do my customer need from me? Do they need a quality product? Yes. Do they need variety? Yes. We don't even work on colors. We don't know. But when we go to the Western, they have a color, they forecast color, they do something new. And it's very new, so people, why not people don't? Most of the challenge is this one. Because of, you know, um, uh, because uh, as you have seen uh, the, the, the clothes or the apparel that has been produced by graduate students, as you have seen in the lab. So that's a very interesting clause, but it must be publicized to, to the public. And there must be awareness, there must be promotions, there must be uh, attention for adver advertisement and promotion by medias like you, like your medias. And the public uh, must be changed uh, his mind for his own production. So that is, a, that is the era or the culture of uh, colonization, because that culture has been taken by uh, foreigners and other designers. But if, if, if our designers are working hard, and if our country is working hard together in cooperation manners, this, this trend would have been changed again. So the challenge is now, fashion is not only in clothing. It is an idea, fashion, an idea, fashionated, in attitudes, in, in apparel, in marketing. There are so many cases that have been changed. It is a matter of advancement. It is a matter of imagination of minds. So that our society must be changed on, on the way to uh, go forward. So our institution is working hard to promote, to penetrate all these challenges and to penetrate all uh, the, the difficulties. As a matter of fact, fashion is about uh, society acceptance. It's not because uh, other society from abroad accepted the fashion, but it matters on the people or the society. So let's say they have accepted uh, strapless clothes or clothes that can show the body, which is actually against of our culture in Ethiopia. So that culture has been accepted in another world. But when you come here to Ethiopia, it might not be accepted. Fashion is about acceptance. It's not about it's because it's stylish or it looks it's aesthetically beautiful. It's about having the acceptance of the society. So a matter of fact that we should come up with ideas or clothes that our society can accept. So some designers might do some uh, clothes which are against the culture, but I don't personally appreciate that because as a designer, I uh, try to share that fashion is not about following styles. Fashion is about understanding the society. Fashion is about giving what the consumer needs. EITEX is organizing several events to share international experience in textile technology, including international conference and the graduation fashion shows. These have paramount benefit to the trainings. On the graduation eve, there is a fashion show or a graduation fashion show, what does that benefit for you? And how you are preparing yourself 
just to work a collection for your project, for your graduation project? The final project will be done by the graduation class. The, so uh, we're, we haven't done, yet, done that yet, but it's the same as the international conference. So the international conference is a highlight. We can say the highlight of the last final project. So we prepare in the international conference and then we make garments for our graduation. Even though we had a fashion show uh, before, the, before this year, uh, the last year of the international conference, um, this final project, that means the, gra the graduation project is very a serious, a serious project, you know? Mm. You know, we go deep our creativity because our target is how we are needed to, uh, uh, you know, how, how we are special in marketing. Uh, in the fashion show, there is uh, different celebrities and different designers, even the students. You know, those all are invited to show that and they need new creativity. And they need something to buy, you know. They need your sample, and they they may wanna to um, make them in different sizes, and for uh, no for marketing. Therefore, um, it is uh, for me it is you know uh, an interesting show. Uh, we learn a lot when you produce a garment. You start to understand the new ways to produce. It's creative. It's new. You you haven't done it before, so. You learn a lot when it's new, when it's something different. And we produce garments for bridal collection, for many different kind of collections. And it was amazing. And what's good about the collection is the feedback of the audience. The audience was designers, you known designers, different uh, fashion-related uh, alternative persons who came to show to to see our fashion show, and their feedback was amazing. So the, that collection was great. And about the eve of the graduation, right? The eve of the graduation fashion show, we 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 we, did, we, um, we haven't uh, we haven't done it yet, but but we are going to this year. I think it's gonna be amazing, and I hope to meet different well, different known designers, and even any kind of famous persons. You know, when we graduate, after we graduate, we need some person, I mean, different kind of person to work with. The, the audience is going to be our, like, um, our... Uh, um, customers? Yeah, they may be our customers or we can work with them. I mean, they, yeah. they, they see the show because they are interested in fashion, so we need more of that, more, more of that kind of audience. You are going to graduate by the end of June this year. So what changes you are going to bring? What is your vision? My main vision, uh, I think I'll focus on the costume design. Uh, that's my plan. After I graduate, I'll focus on the costume design so that I can work with different uh, people in many aspects. So I'm not going to focus on the mass market. I would feel uh, more on the costume design. That's what I need. My vision uh, after graduation is that uh, just having, you know, to, uh, just my vision is to make a business. Just um, if, if I had that, if I had something even the government company, I want to change, you know, different from other companies. Since I'm a designer, uh, I innovate new things and making something new and uh, getting a business. If I can that, I might teach other students, like uh, different universities, maybe here in Barta or other universities. Teaching, teaching fashion is my hobby, my second hobby. Uh, my vision for the future is that uh, first to learn. I mean, I want to learn more, more than this. I want to make my master's, my master's degree. 
in fashion design course. After that, I, I want to study more about the customer, what they need, what they want, what the customer need, if, he, um, if I understand that. That means basically I can produce anything and make them buy it, right? I mean, uh, at the end of the day, all I have to concern is to get income, right? In order to do that, I have to produce something what the customer need. And so, um, so all I gotta do is understand the customer and uh, produce something different for the customer and make them buy with, uh, with the quality, with everything they need. So my plan is to create a garment company. Thank <laughs> you.